Hello friends, this is McBirdie and welcome back to the next episode of Seduce Me the Tome. I don't even remember what episode I'm on right now, but you'll know because I'll have posted it on the video. And we left off right before I'm supposed to be getting some yummy food from some totally inconspicuous incubi that are in my grandpa's house. So I'm hoping this is good. I didn't know what came over me, whether it was his politeness or maybe his power, but I couldn't help but take his offered arm. Oh, I didn't even know he had offered me his arm. James seemed very kind and intelligent, but aside from that, there was something that set him apart from his brothers. Not to mention, he didn't really seem to hold much appreciation for them. Miss, I have to ask, why do you live alone? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. I'm all ears if you wish to tell. I'm all ears. You, you know, we know where the story is going to go, so why am I going to be a brat about it? To put it briefly, I just moved here today. That explains the luggage you brought in when you came through the front doors. By the way, we put your belongings in the room you were sleeping in. That seems to be the master bedroom, I believe. Thanks. This house is really big. I don't think I even explored the entirety of the state when I was a child. You lived here before? Mmm, no. Truth be told, this is my grandfather's house. I used to visit him all the time when I was younger. May I ask why you now live in your grandfather's house? He actually passed away yesterday. It was bequeathed to me in his wheel. <laughs> I cannot talk. It was bequeathed to me in his will, and I was sent to live here whether I liked it or not. My condolences. It seems like you don't like the idea of living here. It's not that I don't like this house, or that I don't have fond memories of being here. It's just the implications that come with staying at this estate. It's kind of complicated to explain. How do you feel about it? I certainly wasn't expecting that question, but in a good way. It was different from what I had heard the entire day at school. I appreciated the fact that he was willing to listen. I feel angry, sad, scared, and confused. It's hard picking out the different emotions that I'm feeling right now. I wish I was stronger. You don't have to be strong. What do you mean? I understand that you're going through a difficult time, so it's okay to feel those emotions. You don't have to be strong at all. Thank you. Uh, are you all right? There seems to be a small bruise on your cheek. Oh, damn it, Daddy. Damn it, Daddy. Oh, I don't know. Are we really going to tell them this part? He caught me off guard with that comment. I thought no one would have noticed something as small as that. Uh, oh, I'm fine. He stopped and leaned in close. A bit too close for comfort. Or maybe it was just me, inspecting my face. He was really quite tall, having to bend over so much to just look at me straight in the face. He's so tall and handsome and big and strong. I might kissy kissy him later too. Who knows? It was hard to look at him, especially when he was so close. After a few seconds, he straightened up and began walking away. Hmm. Well, if you're having any problems, I'm always here to listen. That's really kind of you to offer that. My pleasure. Here's your seat. Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Uh, oh, uh... Eric was very charming, and his smile pulled at my heart. <laughs> no way. Oh, well, I guess it wouldn't be a good romance story if she wasn't attracted to every single one of the guys available to her. The way he kept flirting with me definitely designated him as the charmer of the demons. Yet there was a little distance in his eyes. He uses his sexual prowess to push people away. Prowess? Prowess. Yeah, that. By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier. Stealing your second kiss like that. Huh? Oh, yeah. When I didn't believe that they were incubi. 
Uh, it's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab a kiss for no reason. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear. I won't lie, though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I bet you're blushing, aren't you? I bet you are. I bet you're so blushing right now. Did he give you goosebumps? He gave you goosebumps, didn't he? You naughty, naughty viewer, you. <laughs> I was torn between smacking him and trying to play it cool. Oh, you smack him! Smack oh, him! No. That's going to sting. <laughs> That's what you get. That's for kissing me the first time. <laughs> S sorry, I panicked. No, I was expecting that. <laughs> I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrigued and slightly scared by the amount of food they made. Seeing my expression, Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, gesturing to all of the dishes with a dramatic sweep of his arms. I made almost all of the dishes myself. Wow. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression, as if he was betrayed. His face changed instantly to that of a frown. And I'm the queen of the Nile. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That you're a liar. Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. It's you, James, and I, Matthew. Oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> little boys will always make mistakes. Oh, they just called him a little boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's supposed to be my age, right? He's supposed to be the, her age, right? I wouldn't call that a little boy. Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably for siding with Eric, and he annoyedly swiveled back to Eric to confront him. I'm not a little boy. I'm barely a year younger than you. Oh. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Aww. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Why am I laughing now? <laughs> <laughs> She's losing her mind. I'm losing my mind. What am I saying? I really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like, in a way, he was much more mature than the others, especially Eric. Huh? Is something funny? You know, he really is adorable. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. He is kind of adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. I like his shirt. I like... Take off the shirt and give it to me right now. No, let's not do that. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing at all. Thank you for the meal, all of you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, miss. Oh, please don't call me miss. Click. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Oh, God, shut up, please. Eric, knock it off. <laughs> In agreement with Matthew, Sam cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Seriously, you're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. Oh, thank you. It was obvious that Sam was the bad boy of the group. He had this big, tough act, and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was there more to him than that? How is he obviously stronger than them? Like, am, are you seeing so like? I don't know. I mean, yeah, he could be, like, lean muscles, but, like, for him to look stronger than the other guys, like, I would expect to see him to... I'm just trying to I be a know. gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. Yes, there is a difference. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're going to need some cold water for that burn. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, they're all laughing now. That's by great. the way, I don't believe we caught your name, even though you know each of us. <laughs> you want to know my name? Oh! I'm sad, girl. 
<laughs> it's a pleasure to finally know your name. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah, that's a nice name. Yeah, it's... <laughs> thank you. They were all comfortable around me, despite the awkward situation we were in. It was as if it were... Man, I cannot talk today. It was as if it were natural for them to be around humans. I guess that was just how Incubi worked. But I was still curious about one thing. Excuse me. All at once, they looked at me. I didn't know why, but having all of them look at me made me feel... Kind of important. Like a queen or something. What is it, miss? I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still wanted to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah, like being told that a bunch of incubi randomly appearing in your house was perfectly understandable. Oh, um, how do we explain? We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? Jeez, I grow much. Now you're just being rude, Sam. I'm just saying, how is that difficult to understand? No, I mean, what specifically happened? Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently, we came into town, but we were jumped by this band of misfits. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. So, you're all better now, right? Yep, all thanks to you. Huh? Me? You see, beautiful, we feed on sexual energy. But we don't just get it from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. We can simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. Sexual feeling, baby. I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power. It was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. The Zincubi intrigued me, but at the same time, I could almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. Is there anything else you wish to know? Well, what do you all plan to do now? Yeah, what are we going to do now, James? That is a very good question. We just got here and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. We can take them easily. Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last encounter with them. At that moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive out there. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably would cause chaos all over town. Or, on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and prodded like lab frogs for research. That was even worse. But most of all, they reminded me of... back then. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know what you think of this game. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to get updates for any new videos that are posted, including this series right here. Thank you so much for watching and until the next episode, I'll catch y'all later. Bye!